Half the battle of selling a home is avoiding mistakes that could impact your finances, but more importantly, your peace of mind. Today, I'm going to share the top five mistakes that all homeowners should avoid when selling a home. So let's dive in. Number one is underestimating the cost of selling. Yes, sellers have closing costs too. In Florida, these fees include title settlement fees and real estate marketing fees. These fees are based on your actual sales price and are deducted from your proceeds at closing. We call these your hard cost. I encourage you to watch this video where I talk in detail about sellers closing cost. But let's talk about preparation for cost while selling. For example, if you move into the new house and the old one hasn't sold yet, you may have to pay rent on a temporary place or pay two mortgages, as well as carrying other costs like HOA fees, taxes, storage, utilities. If you find yourself in that situation, you're going to want to check out this video for some awesome solutions. Hopefully your realtor has done a good job at advising you how to prepare your home for sale. Even if your home seems perfect, a buyer's home inspector may find issues not readily seen that may affect your bottom line if they ask you to address them. To avoid these unseen issues, you may want to invest in a pre-listing home inspection by a licensed home inspector. And anything on that list, go ahead and take care of it now before you put the house on the market. And yep, I did a video on that too. Check it out. Number two on our list, setting an unrealistic list price. What you want for your home and what the market will pay can be two very different things. For a seller, it's the sweet spot between asking too much or too little. If you can't hit that sweet spot, you risk leaving money on the table. Or worse, your house being on the market for an extended period of time, which will result in negative consequences. Short of having an expensive appraisal done by a licensed appraiser, the only way that you can assure that your home is being priced appropriately is to measure its value by comparable sales, meaning homes that have sold that are similar in size and in features. You're probably thinking, yeah, I can get that information online, which is true. But here's the key to accurately pricing your property using those comps. Because each house is unique, a seasoned realtor will know which features most impact the value of your home and how much to adjust for those things that make your home different. Number three in our list of mistakes to avoid, only considering the highest offer. I see sellers gravitating to this mistake often these days, especially since we're in a seller's market and multi-offer situations. The highest offer, while that is super exciting, isn't always the best offer. There are two parts to a purchase offer, price and terms. And terms have contingencies. Contingencies are conditions that must be satisfied for the deal to close. You may have contingencies that protect the buyer's interest, like an appraisal contingency, home inspection, financing. For example, you might get a really high offer, but it's contingent on the buyer selling their home first you would have to weigh the risk of the added time and the uncertainty compared to maybe a slightly lower offer without that contingency. On the flip side, you might have a buyer who is really flexible about repairs versus a higher offer that is asking for repair credits. A trusted seasoned realtor will help you make a good decision based on your individual goals. Number four on our list, over improving your home. Before spending any money on repairs or renovations, please consult your realtor. You certainly don't want to spend a load of money on cosmetic items that won't yield you a good return. So before you remodel that hall bath with solid gold fixtures, ask your realtor to provide you a list of items that will yield you the highest return based on your home and its location. Number five on our list, limiting showings. Once you put your house on the market, you'll have to try to cooperate with your agent when they want to show it. This could mean scampering out at dinner time on rare occasion. If your house isn't easy to show, it's not going to be easy to sell either. Of course, the pandemic has dictated how we show homes as well. Make sure your realtor has crystal clear showing instructions posted on the listing in the MLS 
And don't be afraid to insist on buyers making appointments to see your home in advance. Some sellers are requiring additional forms to be filled out prior to a showing, and others are insisting that buyers respect their safety request. In this seller's market, this is definitely a convenience that you can afford. Just make sure you're ready to accommodate a high volume of interest. At the end of the day, you want the selling process to be painless and smooth as possible. You've heard me say this before, knowledge is power. Now that you're aware of some common mistakes to avoid when selling your home, please take the time to do a little bit of pre-planning with a seasoned professional. You'll be so glad you did. I'm Lisa Kelly, Lakeland Homes and Lifestyles with Premier Realty. And if you haven't already done so, please click the subscribe button and the little red bell too. I'm here every single Monday with a new video to help you make good decisions when buying and selling a house. And you won't want to miss my upcoming episode. And until then, I'll see you on the next one.